cases, there's a less noticeable alternative. Contact lenses correct faulty vision without anyone knowing the wearer even has them on. What goes into making these tiny optical aids is really eye-catching. <laughs> Contact lenses have been in existence for over a century. At first, completely rigid, they have become gas permeable and as flexible as gelatin. These small polyhema discs are used to make soft polymer contact lenses in a variety of colors. We see here a patient's prescription, essential to the fabrication of lenses. The process begins with the data processing control of the shaping. Data is supplied by a computer, which controls a digital lathe. They begin by shaping the inner curvature of the lens. This digital lathe, rotating at 6,000 revolutions per minute, is equipped with an industrial diamond. It shapes the inner surface, the part that touches the cornea. It must be free from any abrasions and imperfections, and is polished with a superfine abrasive paste. Polishing is a crucial step because it ensures excellent comfort and perfect vision. A technician measures lens thickness with an extremely precise gauge. They now shape the outer surface, the part that touches the eyelid. The lens is glued with a special warm wax. When the lens is completed, an ultrasound device will remove the wax. The wax takes on the desired shape in just seconds. The comfort of a lens is also determined by its thickness. It must be as thin as possible while retaining sufficient solidity. They begin by shaping the outer diameter of the lens, which takes only a few seconds. the outer surface of the lens. This polishing done at high speed calls for an abrasive paste, some oil, and a small polyester cotton ball. This apparatus polishes several lenses at the same time, a step that takes only 60 seconds. With everything computerized, quality is incomparable. A technician then polishes the rims of the lens. The polymer is hydrated to make it flexible. Lenses remain immersed in a balanced pH saline solution for 24 hours. The lens becomes engorged with liquid and expands, reaching the desired proportions. This optical topographer is used to verify through color distribution whether the spread of optical power in the lens is precise enough to assure perfect vision. And now we proceed with another important testing procedure. The soft, fragile lenses are always handled with the greatest of care. This unit, called a frontofocometer, is a metering device which verifies the optical precision of the lens. The lenses are now completed and are cleaned. They're stored in containers filled with a salt solution. This little vial that we might find at optometrists is sealed with a silicon cap and another of aluminum. These vials are placed in a sterilizer at temperatures of 250 degrees Fahrenheit for an hour and a half. The contents will remain sterile for up to seven years if not opened. The production of a lens involves 14 steps. If we exclude the rather lengthy hydration process, actual lens production requires only 15 minutes. They can produce almost 1,000 contact lenses per day all made from these tiny colored discs.